<laughs> okay, here you can see uh, the beams, uh, the two beams, one in blue, one in red, each circulating uh, in uh, opposite directions inside the LHC beam. Okay. The LHC beam pipes uh, are joined in the middle of the four detectors, and the beams are kept separated with magnetic fields. And so for collisions to happen, the separation has to be taken away. They have to get closer and closer and to be finally aligned along the same plane. And that's the collision mode that we're going to reach very soon. We are seeing the distance between beams getting less and less. They are closer and closer. And one, once they're aligned, and we see also the counters, so the sequence for the synchronization of the beams is launched. And we see that the distance between them is really getting close to zero. When the numbers on the four readers say zero, it means that the beams are aligned. So the beams are going to be aligned very, very soon. This is the historical moment we were all expecting. This is when the LSC is going to be ready to provide collision 7TV. When all the counters are on zero, the beams are going to be aligned. And uh, I'm expecting a huge surge of applause everywhere in the five control rooms here in the CCC, as well as in Alice Atlas, CMS, and LHCB. You can see the control rooms on the side of the screen. Be ready for applause very soon. The two beams are getting closer and closer. The counter is now very close to zero. Alignment is coming in a matter of seconds now. But before, they have to declare stable beams, and they will put in collision, and we adjust the beams. After that, you have to declare stable beam before the, the experiment can take the, some, some data and then check okay. if you have collision. Okay, this was Frédéric Bordry, who joined me in the booth. Frédéric is the head of the technology department of CERN, so he has a much broader knowledge than myself about uh, what, what's happening. It, it, indeed, but this is the way where the the LHC is put into so-called collision modes. People are already starting to... Uh, Get, get, <laughs> Excitation. get excited that they are not controlling their enthusiasm anymore. Yeah, People yeah. are applauding. This is CMS. CMS is happy that uh, they got beams aligned, apparently. This is the CMS the spokesperson, Guido Tonelli, who was celebrating the alignment of the beams. And there we are. March the 30th, 1259. It's 1 o'clock on March the 30th, Central European summertime. And the LHC beams have been aligned. CMS is celebrating. Since Atlas is waiting also some event. Huh? Atlas is waiting for their first um, events. We are now on Atlas in the control room. The LHC is in collision mode anyway. And now, anytime now, all the four experiments can can expect collisions. I'm, che I'm checking if the, the beam is declared stable. Not, not, um, not, we are still in flat top, that to say we are to have a good condition and to put in stable okay, beams. Okay, so the machine is in, is in collision mode, but for the experiments to be able to see the first events, uh, we need to have uh, stable beams. So to say, not to have this is the LHCB control room. In CMS, they were uh, not able to contain their enthusiasm. <laughs> they were already applauding. And here we are. We have the machine in collision mode. It's 1 o'clock on the 30th of March, 2010, an historical date. This is the crowded control room, the CCC. Everybody is applauding. We managed. <laughs> we managed. We have uh, the LHC machine in collision mode. Collisions at 7 tera electron volt are now possible anytime uh, to be recorded by the experiments. Here we are, we can see the beams perfectly aligned. And the counter is close to zero, but not, not quite no, but zero. I, th I think it's not quite zero, but now they have to adjust and to, to, to get really a measure by the experiment when we have a collision. This is a, an approximation you can see, it's not very high, but we, it's only the experiment they will say when we have... The yes, now we are, atom. exactly, we are, we are waiting for the experiments to tell us uh, when they really see collisions happening, but mm -hmm. it can be any time now. We made it. <laughs> the machine may, made us tremble and shiver a little bit the Start whole morning with the... What is this automatic voice saying? I, I think it's an automatic voice uh, saying all the action taken by the, the operation crew. 
Okay, we now see the four experiments control rooms. There is quite some excitement everywhere. We can see people smiling and Start crowding our around. Start group 165. <laughs> okay, there's some action of the converter, don't worry. Okay, <laughs> the, the automatic <laughs> voice of the LEC announcer yeah. is talking while we are commenting. And we are expecting any time now one of the four experiments ready to declare collisions. But, uh, we are still not in the stable beam, so what is, uh, I think they are waiting a little that uh, all the beam is stable. So basically what happened were these two beams, beam 1 and beam 2, in, respectively in blue and red on the screen, uh, blue is beam 1 and, and uh, red is beam 2, they were separated artificially. They were separated by, by a bump, by, by some uh, dipole, by 3 millimeters, and we bring to zero this uh, small magnet to bring the um, beams head on and to have the, the, the completely the, aligned and super but uh, as we said uh, the size of the, of, the, of the beam is very tiny as uh, the air and we have now to adjust it to be sure we have the probability to get collisions and now we need some adjustment fine adjustment to get something and now we there's have some uh, some adjustment uh, we, we did the, the large adjustment but now we need really to adjust to, to get uh, there's more applause in the control room. We don't know who exactly for what. Mike is speaking. Ah. We can do some uh, some scan. Okay, so we. Okay. So okay, we're both beams at 3.5 TV, and we've just uh, collapsed the separation bumps and brought the beams into collision at the four exper inside the four experiments. So. At the moment, we have collisions, but the experiments aren't turned on fully at the moment. So the next stage is to bring the collimators into place, and then we can change mode to stable beams, and then the experiments can switch on their detectors fully and start taking data. Okay. Okay, so that was Mike Lamont, um, head of operations of the LHC machine, describing the operations that we just saw, perfect alignment of the beams. Uh, now he says that in French, and uh, he's just saying that uh, the beams at 3.5 TV have been aligned, uh, but the beams are not stable yet. No, because we, are, we have to approach the collimators to protect any uh, loss of the beam, any halo of the beam, and uh, when the collimator will be in the normal position, we will declare stable beams, and after that the detector could switch on the detector to, to, to look at the collision. Yeah, so the, this is really fine-tuning between the the LHC control room and the four detectors control room, they have to be careful not to switch the detectors fully on, not to damage certain parts if the beam goes astray. Basically. Exactly, then we have to close around the, the, the detector, some collimators to catch up the, the lost beam if it happens some, some losses. Then now we, we need some minutes okay, to do that. Okay, we now have uh, the Atlas spokesperson ready to announce something from the Atlas control room. Over to you, Atlas. So good, good afternoon from the Atlas Control Room. We have observed the uh, first collisions, beautiful events with a lot of tracks. Uh, so the beam uh, collided perfectly and uh, the detector is working well. So it's a, it's a, it's a big emotion and uh, to see um, all these nice events popping out of our detector. Uh, we got something like 40 events per second, which is the expected, uh, expected rate. So really the enthusiasm here is fantastic. Uh, young people cannot really refrain from jumping and, uh, and <laughs> And uh, they are so much delighted. And uh, it's, it's the beginning of really a new, a new era of uh, great physics exploration. So we are all, uh, we are all uh, so proud and so happy. And we are sharing this with uh, everybody in the Atlas uh, collaboration all over the world. And you can see, perhaps on the screen, some uh, live events being uh, uh, refreshed. And uh, so you will have the, the opportunity also later on to see many nice pictures from Atlas. Fantastic. This is great. This is even more than we expected. We just said that we didn't have stable 
beams and the the Atlas collaboration, the scene events, we can see them on the screen. This is physics in the making. This is the beginning, as Fabiola said, of a new era in particle physics with collisions in the LHC at 7 tera electron volt, already seen by the Atlas detector. And this is the Atlas control room with the screenshots live from their detector. Beautiful physics starting now.